Hello again. This is to show another soap for the next soap release on May 7th, the Flower Full Moon. This one is a remake of one I made in the fall that was called Canyon Moon, but I updated the scents and the colors a little bit. And I wanted to show some photographs of my inspiration. They're taken by my husband, who loves to take pictures. We live near these very ancient canyons that are filled with the most beautiful geology you've ever seen. And it has a very rare type of sandstone called St. Peter's sandstone, which is multicolored pieces of quartz mixed with the sand. In the history of the area, it is, is said that it was a catastrophic flood in ancient times, around 14,000 to 17,000 B.C., and it was called the Kankakee Torrent. It was a glacier that had come this far inland, and as it receded and melted away over thousands of years, it created these canyons and sandstone in the middle of Illinois, which is <laughs> its very strange how it's just in the middle there like that. It's a very beautiful area. A lot of people come there to camp and hike and visit. It's just gorgeous. And so a little more history before I show you the soaps was that the first people there were the Clovis people. And as anyone knows, the Clovis people were a very ancient type of nomadic people. After that was the Havana Hopewell, and that was from 200 to 400 B.C. And they are the ones that built the earthwork mounds that are there. There's these beautiful mounds that you can see, and if you can fly above them, you can see that the shapes that they've made them in. After that, there was the woodland period was around the time of the Hopewell. And after the Hopewell, there was an, the next people were the, the peaceful Kaskaskia people. I hope I pronounced that right. And they had a, what was called the Grand Village of the Illinois. They were part of the Illinois Confederation, which was a gathering of peaceful tribes that was also called the Illini. They lived in wigwam houses that were easy for them to move around and take back down again because they traveled to hunt the bison. So here are the soaps. They are naturally colored, of course, with indigo in the background for the sky. The ground, the canyons, are different shades that I created with uncolored and with organic cocoa powder. And then, of course, the full moon inside. And the moons are uncolored. And this photograph here is at the end of the St. Louis Canyon, which is our favorite one here. Sorry. And as you can see in the bottom corner is when we first moved here. My daughter was about a year old and a year and a half. And... I used to hike with her down with the, her on my back in the backpack. And there's a beautiful waterfall at the end of that canyon. And you can see in this picture the gorgeous colors of the St. Peter's sandstone. St. Peter's sandstone is very rare. It's very essential in glass making. And there's only a few places in the whole world where you can find it. The scents on the soap, I switched up this time to where they are patchouli and lavender. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out my other videos for other naturally colored soaps. They're all made with essential oils as well. And the shop links will be listed below. Thank you. Take care.